Welcome to Mother Daughter Projects, I'm Steph. For years we've been using a simple concrete base with a pipe cap embedded and have used this in a variety of projects. Today we're going to focus on how to make the base and show the different techniques we have found over the years. You're going to need cement, a bowl, pipe cap, and hot glue gun. Hot glue the pipe cap to the bottom of the bowl. Mix up the concrete and fill up the bowl. We're using Rapid Set Cement which cures in one hour. Each brand of concrete or cement is a little different so be sure to read the directions on the bag or the box. If you really want a smooth finish, we like Rapid Set Cement Doll or Quick Crete Countertop Mix. Regular concrete mix will work too, but it has extra aggregate so it will not be as smooth. If you want more visual interest, find a bowl that has a pattern or design that you like on it, like this one. Glue the pipe cap as before. For this one, we use Quick Creek Countertop Mix and use a paddle mixer on our drill. When working with concrete, always remember to wear a mask, eye protection, and gloves as it can be messy and dusty. We begin to fill our mold, making sure to flatten it and tap to bring any air bubbles to the surface. We really love working with concrete as you never really know how it's going to turn out until you unmold it. For the most part, we always have good results when the project is ready to be taken out 24 hours later. Back to the first version that we use Rapid Set Cement Doll for. This one cures in an hour. It easily removes from the mold as the concrete will not stick to the slick surface of the bowl. Sand any rough edges. The second version will be removed from the mold 24 hours later. You can see it has a nice shiny finish from the mold. It will get lighter as it cures as it still has a lot of moisture from the water. Mom sanded the base a little. This concrete will not be fully cured for 28 days, so sanding is still pretty easy at this point. You can leave the concrete natural or paint or stain it. We like the look of stain as we're doing right here. If you want to keep it natural, you can apply a clear poly spray to protect it. We've done this a few times and have had good results using wood stain on concrete. Once the concrete cured, we added sticky felt to the bottom to protect the floor. If you wonder why there's so many imperfections in this particular one, it's because we didn't vibrate or bounce the concrete enough and the air bubbles got trapped and caused that effect. We actually like the look of this and that's why we didn't spend time trying to remove those before it cured. Because we embedded a one inch pipe cap in the base, any one inch pipe can be added to this. Like you can see here with our night sands we made a few years ago. And here's our two x four Christmas tree. We drilled a hole through the wood, added a short pipe and secured it all with a pipe cap on top. Here we added a one inch PVC pipe to make a garden flag stand. You can see this base is even strong enough to hold this full floor lamp. And as for the garden flag stand, this has been outside of my house for over three years now and this is what it looks like today. It's held up really well. We also used the base in this crate display we shared on HomeTalk.com a few years ago. And we just reused one of these bases in our updated nightstand project. What would you use this concrete base for? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you found value in this video, please consider super thanking us with a donation. You'll find the button right next to the share button. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.